Today, we're going to be revisiting the Colt Defender. Earlier last year, I began looking into replacing my larger and heavier double stack carry pistol. Having plenty of experience with, and confidence in, the 1911 platform helped focus my search for a lighter weight single stack carry gun. The Defender is definitely not one of those heavy steel frame 1911s other firearms manufacturers have chopped the barrel down on and tossed into the compact carry arena. Colt designed the Defender from the ground up to be a high quality lightweight carry pistol. The Defender's reputation for being a dependable and accurate lightweight compact with excellent sights met all the criteria I'd set for a new carry gun. Having a superb trigger made choosing this pistol even easier. I'm certainly a fan of the 45 ACP round in a 1911, but maybe not so much in a compact this lightweight. Having a touch of arthritis made me think better of it in the long run, so that's why I decided on this 9mm version. I'm comfortable with the 8 plus 1 round capacity in this 9mm version. That's two rounds more than most of the other popular single stack compacts on the market. The pistol's narrow profile also makes it easier to conceal than some of the other compacts too. At 25 ounces, the Defender might weigh a couple of ounces more than some of its single stack polymer competitors, but for me, the higher capacity, better sights, and much better trigger was worth the extra couple ounces. The Defender came with these Hogue wraparound finger groove grips. For me, the Hogue grips threw off how I normally like to grip a 1911, so I replaced them with a set of standard Colt Officer's Model grips. A surprising number of people have asked me where to get Colt replacement grips like these. For those of you who don't have a well-stocked firearms dealer nearby, I generally suggest eBay. You're as likely to find a set there as anywhere. Over the last six months, I've put a lot of different rounds through this Defender without any issues. I've never fired any of the cheap steel-cased ammo in it, so I can't comment either way about that ammo. As far as defense ammo goes, I like the Hornady XTP rounds. They run just fine in this Colt. I also reload using these same bullets, and the Defender runs my reloads just as well. So this is what I'll be sticking with for carry ammo. Although I normally carry inside the waistband, I did find an outside the waistband holster that I particularly liked. This one's made by Holster World USA, and I spotted it on eBay. This holster has a nicely tooled upper guard that helps protect the pistol from the rigors of carrying outside the waistband, and I really like that. I have managed to ding up a pistol or two over the years carrying outside the waistband, and I definitely didn't want to do that to this Colt. They have this style to custom fit a number of different handguns. You have a choice of natural brown or black like this one. Very well made, excellent quality. This holster offers outstanding protection, and it looks really nice while doing it, for under $50. If you like the look of this holster, check out Holster World USA's eBay store. The only thing that really worries me is that my wife's taken a particular fancy to this little colt, and in the long run that usually has a predictable outcome. I suppose buying another Defender wouldn't hurt my feelings all that much. Maybe I'll get her the Night Defender. It comes with Tritium Night Sights. I have no doubt she'd like that. Anyway, I just wanted to revisit this Colt Defender now that I've spent a little more time with it. There's a few more details about it in my original Closer Look video, if you haven't seen it. So if you've a mind to, feel free to check out that video. That about wraps things up for today. It's time for me to load up some fodder for these ponies. Until next time, practice often. Shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.